We are in German waters 20 nautical miles from the coast on our way out to the Amrumbank West wind farm in the North Sea, where 80 wind turbines will be installed. Turbines are significant structures. Strong currents around the turbines can displace the sandy seabed and begin to undermine the foundations. This is a process of scour. Treatment of the seabed around the towers in the form of scour protection is essential to ensure the long-term stability of the turbine's towers. This vessel, Mare de Cris, is one of three that will place the first scour protections for the wind turbines and literally lay the foundation for other contractors which will be working on this project. This task is carried out by Danish offshore company Peter Messen, a company that is highly specialized and experienced in scour protection for offshore wind farms. They have been preparing this day for months. To produce the more than 40,000 polypropylene sandbags necessary for the scour protection in six months, which is approximately 40 per hour, Peter Messen have installed a 20,000 square meter storage, production and loading site on Roma Harbour. The challenge for Peter Messen will be to keep up production of sandbags during the Danish winter, as well as meeting the highest safety standards to protect their employees. They will need to reach a daily production of around 500 sandbags and simultaneously load these on board a barge. In order to do that, the company will work 24-7 weather permitting. Health, safety and environment is a vital factor for Peter Messen. In Roma, it is implemented through planning, workshops with the employees and through thorough safety instructions to all visitors and workers, as well as by always having a responsible HSC manager present on site. Each geotextile sandbag is filled with carefully sieved tested 0-2mm sand and then their weight is checked to be exactly between 1,350 and 1,400 kilograms. Once the weight is checked, it's time to seal the bags with a double thread sewing and send them onto the logistic crew. To prevent damages to the geotextile, the sandbags are moved by vehicles and cranes equipped with specially designed grabs. Due to the tides on the Danish west coast, the sandbags can only be transported directly on board the barge during high tide. Having carefully planned for this, Peter Messen have worked out a schedule for simultaneous storage and loading of the bags during low tide. This is done by three cranes moving bags from one to another. The remaining bags are then carefully stored under UV protection for faster loading during high tide. After eight months of hard work with a daily output of more than 500 sandbags, this unique production site reaches a milestone on April the 7th, 2013, when the barge is fully loaded and ready to sail off for Amrumbank. Although the production continues, the barge will immediately be followed by the installation vessels on their way to start working on Amrumbank. On Amrumbank, the barge is now anchored on a fixed position and serves as a logistical base for the installation vessels. With the barge in position, Peter Messen is now ready to start working on the 80 scour protection sites that are to be laid out. The work is carefully carried out by three installation vessels, each equipped with a sophisticated PDS-2000 positioning and tracking system, which is linked up with Peter Mess and Reddery headquarters. PDS-2000 allows for real-time collaboration between the vessel's captain, the crane operators and PMR engineers on shore. Once the vessel is situated on its working position, it is anchored with three fixtures to ensure that it remains in the right position during the layout of the sandbags. 
Now it is time for the crane operator to take over and begin laying out the sandbags. Each bag is carefully positioned and is part of a pre-calculated circular pattern, which guarantees optimal scour protection. Once a circle is completed with one layer of sandbags, the position is carefully surveyed for gaps between the bags. If any gaps are spotted, these are filled with additional bags before continuing with the second and last layer of sandbags. When finished, the second layer is again carefully surveyed and gaps are filled. Before finishing at that position, a last test measurement is taken and sent to the engineers on shore. Once approved, the vessel moves on to work on the next scar protection. When needed, the installation vessels approach the barge to resupply them with sandbags. The crew at the barge are advised previously by radio and stand by for action when a vessel arrives. With two cranes on board the barge and fantastic teamwork, the barge crew rapidly resupply the installation vessel. Both crews are aware that the weather can change rapidly in the North Sea and force them to stop working. So they are anxious to get the vessel loaded and get it back to work on the scour protection positions as soon as possible. The weather in the North Sea only permits Peter Messam to work for about 50% of the time. However, careful planning, excellent seamanship and above all an experienced crew ensures the scour protection is delivered on time. In just five months, Peter Messer have placed 40,000 sandbags on the Arambank West site within budget and program considerations. In so doing, Peter Messer have delivered 80 complete scour protections. The work of Peter Messer Reddery will pave the road for other contractors working on the Amrumbank West Wind Farm project. Once finished, the wind farm will produce clean energy for more than 300,000 households.